hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to record multiple audios into different audio tracks for example say you have your main audio coming from your game you have a secondary audio coming from your microphone and a third audio coming from say for example discord you'll be able to record each of these audios into a different audio track so when you're in your editing software you can mute whichever one of these audio you don't want to hear in your final production i've linked a page in the description of this video it's going to lead you to this page right here which is called vb audio software this is the software that we're going to be using to allow us to record multiple audio tracks you're going to scroll down under the banana tab you're going to scroll down you're going to see voice meter banana advanced mixer you're going to download whichever one you please either you download a package file which is a zip file or the exe itself I'm going to go ahead and download the exe once i have the exe downloaded i'm going to go back to the top and i'm going to over over the virtual audio cable this one right here once you're here you're going to download this one which is the windows version not the mac but the windows it's only one megabyte so click the download and it should start downloading once you have both files downloaded it should look something like this the exe and a zip file you're going to go ahead and run the exe all you need to do is follow along with the prompt and install it it's really simple once it's finished installing it's going to say something along the lines of you must reboot your system to finalize installation you're going to go ahead and press ok but you're not going to restart right now what we need to do is install the vb cable drivers before we do the restart so you're going to need a software, either WinWar or 7-Zip to extract the contents of the zip file. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go down to WinWar, go to extract, and it's going to extract it right here. Now that I have the folder extracted, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to scroll down until I see VB cable setup x64. I'm going to right click and run as administrator. Press yes, and I'm going to install the drivers just like the first one. You should see another option pops up that says something along the line of trusted so you should trust it this is because i'm not doing it for the first time but you should trust it once you click the dot and it's blue the little check marker you're going to press ok and ok now that we have both of them installed you're going to go ahead and restart your pc now that you've restarted your computer what we need to do is give voice meter banana access to our audio inputs and outputs so to do that, we're going to go to search and we're going to type in our control panel. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and go to hardware and sounds. Then you're going to go to the sounds option. Once you're here, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. You're going to see voice meter input. You're going to right click and you're going to set as default device. Right click set as default communication device. Then you're going to go under the recording tab and you're going to do the same. Right click on voice meter output and set as default device. Right click again and set as default, communi default communication device. Then press OK. Now we're going to go into our Discord. If you've reached this far in the video, I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for future content. Now that we have Discord open up, we're going to go to user settings. We're going to go down to where you see voice and video. And you're going to change the input and output. It's set to default. So we're going to go ahead and select the one that we just assigned in the sound settings, which is this one right here. Bear in mind that you have two of them. One is the aux and one is the normal one. We're not using the aux. We're going to use the normal one. In the output, you're going to select the VB audio virtual cable. This is the second one that we installed. So we're going to go ahead and select the output device and set cable input. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and close our Discord. The next thing to do is open up Voice Meter Banana. Once we have Voice Meter Banana open up, what we need to do is set it up. I accidentally set it up beforehand, but I'm going to take you through the steps that you should. So for the hardware inputs, one, you should go ahead and set your microphone, which is mine right here. As you can see, it's being picked up right here. This is the bar. For the hardware input 2, you're going to set the one that we set for Discord. So what this means is that whatever person's talk in Discord will be in this one right here. For the main audio, the hardware out, we're going to set that to our speakers. So I'm going to go ahead and select the speakers because this is my laptop. For my secondary audio, which is A2, 
I'm going to set that to my Soundcore Life P2 Mini. So that's my headphones. So how this works is pretty simple. A1 signifies audio one. So all of these A1s right here is audio one. So if you talk, you're going to hear it in audio one. If a person talks in Discord, they're going to hear it in audio one. If a person talk in audio input three, you're going to hear it in audio one. So pretty much whatever is said or heard is going to be played in audio one once you have this highlighted. For example, if I'm using my headphones, I'm going to turn off my mic because I don't want to hear my voice. I'm going to set this to A2 because I want to hear my Discord friends in A2. And then I'm going to also set the main audio, which is this one right here in A2. So whatever is said is going to be played through A2, which is my Soundcore Mini. And whatever is played like gameplay, YouTube videos is also going to be heard through my A2. Again, if I want to switch it to my speaker, all I need to do is switch to A1. Now that we have set up Voice Meter Banana, we need to go ahead and set up our recording software. I'm using a Streamlab OBS. So what I need to do is go to settings, go to the audio tab, and then I'm going to go to desktop audio one which is going to be my main one. This is going to be whatever is heard on the desktop, like YouTube or the gameplay. So I'm going to go to this one right here. Remember, not the aux, but the main one right here. For desktop audio two, this is going to be Discord. So we're going to go down to the cable input. And then for my microphone, we're going to go ahead and select this one, not the aux, but the main one. And pretty much that's it. Whatever is said, is going to be recorded in the three different audio profiles. As you can see, my mic is being recorded in the second one. If I go to say, for example, YouTube, as you can see, this is being showed in both of these, which is not good. So what I need to do is go back to my voice meter banana and I'm going to turn off the B1 right here. So once I turn off the B1, as you can see, it's not recording the audio through my microphones. So again, if I turn on the B1, the YouTube is being played through my microphone, which I don't want. So I'm going to turn that off. So pretty much what you're seeing right now is the main audio being recorded at the top and my voice being recorded at the second part. Again, if you have a friend in Discord, they're going to be recorded here. So pretty much that's how you do it, guys. It's a long process, but it actually works out pretty well. You'll be able to record multiple audio tracks in your recording and then you can edit them separately once the video file is done. If this video, again, if this video was helpful, please go ahead, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for future content. My name is Sloppy and I'll see you in the next one.